So we're here at the Snapdragon Tablets corner here at the Qualcomm booth. And those are the Snapdragon Tablets that are going to come out very soon. And uh, you're the product manager of the Snapdragon? Uh, yes, I am. I'm with uh, Qualcomm CDMA Technologies. Um, we have several examples of uh, uh, tap tablets and pop tablets using the uh, Snapdragon chip. Uh, this is the Dell Streak, which was recently announced using uh, the uh, QSD8250 uh, 1 gigahertz clock CPU Snapdragon chip. That's cool capacity, touch screen, all that's coming, it's coming out soon. Yes, running the Android operating system. Nice. And uh, this is uh, the another, another Snapdragon based product at uh, Gigahertz on Huawei, again running the Android operating system. It's, they made a custom UI and all that. This is, is a resistive touch. Cool. So here at Computex, you, uh, Qualcomm officially announced uh, the third generation Snapdragon. Could you tell us a little bit? Yes, we be? announced our sampling of the uh, Snapdragon 8660 chip. This is a, a third generation 45 nanometer dual core Snapdragon device running uh, dual 1.2 gigahertz Snapdragon CPUs with integrated HSPA modem and EVDO modem, um, uh, integrated 3G modem, um, 1080p encode and decode, low power audio subsystem for very extensive uh, music listening, and an 88 million 3D triangles per second 3D graphics core, all integrated into a system on a chip. Nice. So is it as compact? Uh, the, the products that come out of that can be as compact as the first generation Snapdragon, and is it uh, as low power or even lower power, or more? Or does it consume more power, or can you say something about that? Well, because it's 45 nanometer, it is uh, lower power than our first generation Snapdragon, which was a 65 nanometer based device and products will be every bit as thin, if not thinner, with this version of Snapdragon chipset as our first generation. So the battery will run even longer, even though it's much more powerful? Or is it? I mean, uh, it's more powerful, but it will still not run longer? Um, be, because you can uh, time the CPU clocks to whatever performance level you need, you can put them to sleep if nothing's running or clock them at a lower rate to save power, just depending upon what the application requires. But if you burst up to the maximum speed, it's still using more than the first generation, or is there anything one can say about that, or because it's faster? At an equivalent clock speed, at the yeah. same clock speed, a 45 nanometer part uses less power than uh, older version 65 nanometer part. Nice. And you also have a second generation Snapdragon, which is just a 45 nanometer version of that, kind of? The second generation was a 45 nanometer version of the original um, 8250. We call it the 8650A. It's 45 nanometer shrink version, and we were able to increase the CPU clock speed from 1 gigahertz from the original design to 1.3 gigahertz, and uh, we ended up doubling the uh, uh, graphics performance as well in this second generation device. So that one has been sampling for a little while and it might be available soon already on, in product? Uh, that's up to our OEMs, but there are definitely designs going on. And how about the, the third generation? Is it a little bit later? When do you plan? Is there a plan for market well, next year? or? As we announced at the show, we're yeah. sampling it now and we would expect to see products next year using that device. Maybe early next year, maybe. That's up to yeah. the uh, OEM in their design cycle. So uh, at, at Qualcomm, you have your own uh, IP for the, the way you make the processors, right? And, and do, you, do you, if I may ask, how, do you, how would you compare performance, or how would you say that your performance is compared to the Cortex-A9 or Cortex-A8, for example? So we, we design our own CPUs. Uh, we have what's called an ARM architectural license that allows us to design ARM-compatible CPUs any way we want. That's why we were able to uh, launch chips with one gigahertz ARM processors years before anybody else in the industry. Um, our first generation uh, Snapdragon device we think is uh, very, very powerful. We think it's faster than uh, Cortex-A8 devices. We certainly think it's fa as fast, if not faster, than uh, Cortex-A9 devices and, and 
we think doing our own CPU designs is a proprietary advantage that we have in the marketplace. May I ask, where, where do you design those? You have a headquarter in the U.S. or? We, we have a design facility and staffing in Research Triangle Park in North Carolina. And its uh, design team is headed up by a gentleman named Ron Testatori. Nice, because you, you, you are leading the, the, the Android, the, uh, the, the Nexus One, uh, you and the Nexus One, and all the other Android phones, and you have a big market there, right? The, the, everybody's using the Qualcomm right now. That's, that's because doing our own CPU design, we were able to launch one gigahertz uh, chips well in advance of anybody else in the industry, so we enjoy that advantage. Cool. Looking forward to the next generations. Thank cool. you. So Thanks. am I.